Hey guys, it is Vivian, so welcome back to another video. So today um, is a very special video. Um, I will want to give Trent JS or Trent the man, the harmonica man, a massive um, thanks for this video. Because if it wasn't for him, um, I wouldn't be able to be showing you guys what I'm showing you today. And what I'm going to be showing you guys today is the uh, use and how to obtain and how to do, like how to make the Dragon Bane bolts and why you should be making them. Uh, for like dragon tasks and things like that and my yak is about to run out and I need him for this video So I'll be right back perks of a completionist cave. I can use summoning restore and spawn me another yak. Yeah Okay, so I can't remember what I was saying But basically what I'm gonna be doing in this video is showing you guys how to make dragon bane bolts And the reason you want to be making these bolts is when you're versing dragons and in particular um we, uh, Trent and I went to, or and Luke as well, and Josh, we went to uh, Frost Dragons yesterday, and I was just two hitting with the Chaotic Maul and Legacy, so I was literally, I was literally two hitting the Frost Dragons um, with Legacy mode with my Chaotic Maul, and that was actually that was absolutely ridiculous. I thought, you know, two hitting a uh, Frost Dragon with a weapon is absolutely insane because you know the the bones are worth about fifteen to sixteen k at this stage. Um, but what was even more interesting to me was how Trent was one-hitting them with these Dragon Bane bolts. So now I thought, you know, I'll make a quick video showing you guys, um, you know, how to get these bolts and, you know, what they actually do. Now, with the Legacy mode, because it's, it's a, uh, it, it enables you to do auto attacks, I guess. So it just basically, it auto attacks. It's like an auto attack thing. It's like momentum or revolution without momentum or without revolution. Um... If that makes plenty of sense, I'm sure it makes plenty of sense. Probably not, but um, yeah. In other words, if you if you use Legacy, I believe the damage dealt with the Dragon Bane bolts is increased to 40% against dragons. So that's absolutely insane. So you can actually hit 850 on Frost Dragons, which is which is crazy. Like if you think about it, you hit 850 on a Frost Dragon, he drops, you get 16k worth of loot. Unless you pick up a visage, and then you know, then you'll be rolling in the GP. But today I'm going to be showing you guys what the best way is, uh, you know, the best ways to get the bolt and, um, you know, all that good stuff. So firstly, you want to be using the Ring of Slayer and teleport to the, um, well, I like to teleport to the Relic of Slayer case because it's really close to a Slayer Ring. And then from the Slayer Ring, you want to teleport to Xanaris. And then with Xanaris, you want to go to the uh, Glacor Cave. Now, I uh, I think I've got it in my quick um, in my favorites. There it is. DKQ is the code for the Glacor Cave. And once you arrive at the Glacor Cave, all you want to do is run north. And then there's this little there's this little enclosure thing as you'll be seeing um, here now. Look at that little boost. But let's go let's go past Mr. Movi Movario, um, just hanging out. And, um, you know, let me grab some of these Bane Rocks. Obviously, I'm not going to show you guys me mining an entire inventory here. Um, or will I? But, <laughs> um, so what you want to do is, all you want to do is mine these, um, these rocks. And what I like to do is, I like to mine, um, I start up here, I then go down, mine this one, this one, this one, this one. Then I mine these two, and then I mine these two, and this one. So I like do like some sort of circle, um, and then collect all these Bane Rocks. Now, I find it really efficient to use bring a pack yak or if you have the rhino um, I'm not sure how the rhino works though and then just store your um, bane or in the um, in your familiar because you can have um, up to I believe it's what is it 26 add 30 I think so it's like 56 I think it's 30 in the yak so it's 56 ores um, every um, every trip which is awesome and for every single ore you turn into a bar and then with every bar um, you smith uh, 50, 50 dragon bane bolts, which is which is crazy. So I've got about a hundred ore now. So um, I've got I've got enough to get me about I think it's like five thousand dragon bane bolts, which will last me a long time. And that combined with the uh, royal crossbow at QBD, for example, will you know you'll be hitting monstrous hits with the uh, dragon bane bolts and the royal crossbow. But I'm not going to bore you with this uh, mining footage. I'll be back when I'm doing the next step. And a quick little message from our sponsor, Trent JS. Hey YouTube, XD, 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 add me XX420 Fedora XX. Well, for this next part, you want to be using an anvil, so I just recommend coming to the Edgeville one because I think it's the one that's closest to a bank. But you just want to quickly smelt some Dragon Bane um, bars, and then once you've done that, I'll be able to, sh well, I'll show you what you have to do next. Okay, now to smelt or to smith the Dragon Bane bars into the Dragon Bane bolts unfinished. Um, what you want to do is you want to use the Slayer Ring to once again teleport to the Relic of Slayer Caves. Um, and then run a little bit west, go through the Fairy Ring, and then go to, um, I think it's Can... No, it's not Can, if it's... It's... Na Naz... Nazareth? 
I've just forgotten. I said it earlier in the video, but we're going to the um the magical place. I think it's Nazareth. I can't believe I've actually Zanarus. Zanarus. I am I'm good at this game. So you want to use the codes D I R, which is D I R, and then once you've done that, you want to use the code um, A K S. So you've got to do two different um, fairy ring codes, I believe. So do the first one, then go back through. And then you want to choose the second one, AKS, baby, AKS. And then you're back at the wonderful place where you did the ritual of the Marjorat quest. Don't have very, don't have very good memories of this place because I remember how annoying this bit was. Um, but you just want to go up the ramp here across the ledge. And then there's a little anvil just here. It's called the Keth McGee anvil. Uh, the Keth, Keth, um, yeah, I think that's Keth McGee. I I think it is. Um, but you just want to smith that real quick. Hopefully, I don't fail this. Um, you just want to smith it really, really quickly. And then for every single, um, every single bar, you get 50 unfinished uh, bolts. And I'm not going to show you the um, entire smithing process, but I'll be back when you get the feathering process. So once you've smithed all of your dragon made bolts into unfinished bolts, you just want to use your um, bolts or feathers on each other. And then you want to make your dragon made bolts. And it's that simple. So that's the uh, kind of um, making process, if you will. Um, I'm not sure how many you actually make, so I'm just going to just just show you guys real quick. But I'm going to show you a couple of clips just of me killing some um, frost dragons. And then I might do a little bit of QBD as well. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to be doing. Um, but I'm going to show you quickly um, what these guys are actually capable of, which is absolutely... They're, in, they're capable of so much stuff. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this making of the video and enjoy the next couple of clips.